sky is soaking wet as she wanders through the wine rack. Her sexy body immediately catches the attention of Chris Decker, who's shopping for ice cream. When Sky meets his gaze, she waves to him. She asks him to recommend a bottle of wine to save her from a bad mood. So Chris skillfully picks up a bottle of Nabilo and hands it to her. After Sky thanks him, he suddenly stops her. It isn't until she introduces herself that Chris gives her a teasing look and watches her walk away. He thinks that's the end of the adventure for tonight. After checking out, Chris bumps into Sky again outside the supermarket because her Uber has been cancelled and she can't leave. He offers to drive her back to the motel where she's living. Sky doesn't refuse, but when she arrives she is very reluctant to enter. Because she doesn't want to see her loony roommate who she just had a fight with again. So Chris invites her to spend a few hours at his house. And when her roommate falls asleep, he drops her off. Sky politely turns down a man she's known for less than two hours. But after hearing her roommate's hysterical screams, she has to accept Chris's offer. Sky's landlord, who has observed her actions, always takes the opportunity to spy on her. Which is one of the reasons why she doesn't want to stay here. Chris drives up into the dark and remote hills. Sky is uneasy. She's taken into a mansion protected by high-tech security. Never did she realize that the average-looking Chris was a rich man. He shows her his collection of rare and expensive wines. Sky assumes it's his parents' property, but he says he's retired. Chris inherited a fortune when he was a junior in college, so he started working on a home security app, which made him a lot of money. Not long ago, Chris sold his company to try to make a new life. Sky marvels at his success and has some low self-esteem. She says she was just a model before. She hates being a plastic mannequin so she's going to find something more fulfilling, but until that happens she's currently working as a waitress in a bar. Chris becomes more and more obsessed with the beautiful and sincere Sky, But Skye's not an easy girl. She says her roommate should be asleep, so she needs to get back. Chris begs her to stay and kisses her. They spend a wonderful night together. After the one-night stand, Sky doesn't want to be thought of as a gold digger and goes back to the motel alone before Chris wakes up. The landlord humiliates her behind the window for sleeping with a stranger after seeing her get into a car with him last night. She is then confronted by her roommate Lisa when she walks in the door. She'd been worried sick about Skye being missing all night. Lisa even hysterically threatens to kick her out. However, when Skye ignores her, she cries and begs Skye not to leave her. This kind of living environment is driving Skye crazy. But she could only persevere in order to make a living. She comes to work in a bar and doesn't expect Chris to come looking for her. Skye is a bit surprised. Chris opens up his heart and talks about his ex-wife. He says the reason he's here is because his ex-wife wants him to move on with his life. It turns out that Chris was so busy working that he neglected his family. He sold his company to try and save his marriage, but his ex-wife Jamie didn't want to spend the rest of her life with him. Jamie asked him to sign the divorce and alimony papers as soon as possible. She promised to raise their daughter and wished him a new beginning. After hearing about his marriage, Skye is touched by this sincere man. She also decided to open her heart to him. She describes herself as a broken person because she has no family and has been in and out of foster homes since she was a child. Her nightmarish childhood story arouses Chris's compassion. To comfort her, Chris says his childhood wasn't much better because his parents were too busy to spend time with him. That's why he was obsessed with security. This conversation allows them to get to know each other better. Little do they know that misfortune is creeping up on them in the midst of sweetness. They arrive at the parking lot together when Chris sees a man banging on his car window. Chris yells and tries to get him to leave. However, instead of being afraid, Kiju says he's going to assault Sky. Sky is not weak. When confronted by such a hooligan, she raises her bottle and fights back. This enrages him. Chris tries to protect his favorite girl, but his leg is broken by a crowbar when Kiju rushes forward. Fearing getting into trouble, Kiju runs away. Although Chris protects the girl he adores, his entire right leg is in a cast, making it difficult for him to take care of himself. In order to make up for the damage her impulsiveness has done to him, Sky offers to be his nurse to take care of him. Chris is inwardly delighted, but asks her in all seriousness what her qualifications are. She jokingly replies that she is willing to provide special services to her patient. Chris is so enthralled that he lets his guard down and tells her all the security codes of his house. He expects his new love to be very sweet. But Sky's return to the motel to pack her bags doesn't go smoothly. Her roommate, Lisa, and landlord, Ronald, aren't going to let her off the hook that easily. Lisa is waiting anxiously and sullenly in her apartment for Skye to return. Ronald sarcastically remarks that she was so happy before Skye came into her life. Skye is also ironic that Ronald has never been in a relationship. Ronald says they're behind on their rent and wants to evict them, but Skye ignores him. Skye rushes into the room to pack her bags. To stop her from leaving, Lisa points to the telescope and picks up a notebook saying she will reveal Skye's secret. Skye panics. She puts on an affectionate face to reassure her. She then calms her roommate, who loves her dearly, with a kiss. Soon after, Skye enters the highest security house and wakes up a sleeping Chris. She frantically tells him how much she misses him. Chris misses a call from his ex-wife and daughter because he's so engrossed in soaking in the outdoor bath with her. She gently puts him to bed and gives him his medication. Chris tells her how much he loves her. 
Sky also confesses her love for him and promises to live happily ever after. The happiness on the hill contrasts with the bleakness at the foot of the hill. The next day, Ronald knocks on Lisa's door and asks her to pay the rent. After a long time with no answer, he opens the door with his key. Then Ronald is attracted by the sound of running water and enters the bathroom. To his horror, he sees Lisa's body soaking in a blood-filled bathtub with visible cuts on her wrists. The detective asks Ronald for some information and suspects that Lisa was murdered. But Ronald is convinced that she killed herself and that she did it because her lover, Skye, had left her. The detective denies his suspicions because he can't find any information about the woman named Skye in the database. This makes Ronald sure that Skye has a secret to hide. Meanwhile, Chris' ex-wife, Jamie, video calls him to talk about the divorce. After learning of his leg injury, Jamie offers to bring her daughter to visit him in a few days to cheer him up. Chris says he's hired a private duty nurse to keep her from worrying. But that makes her feel even more incredulous because she knows he has trust issues. After hearing her warnings about the stranger, Chris gets on crutches and starts looking for Skye in the house. While she is in the shower, Chris digs through her bag. He sees pictures of her with Lisa. Suddenly, he fails to hold her bag steady, causing the rest of her belongings to fall to the floor. Skye hears the commotion and comes out of the bathroom. But instead of blaming him for snooping, she shows understanding and says that if it were her, she'd do the same to a stranger. She throws him a towel and asks him to dry her off. Once again, Chris is tempted to give up his quest for the truth. After Chris falls asleep from his workout, Sky quietly takes his cell phone. She wakes him up for a second to scan his face and unlock his phone. A few hours later, Chris notices that his phone is gone. He panics and goes to the living room, only to find that the device controlling the house's security system is not working. The news of Lisa's death is on the screen at the same time. He recognizes the woman whose death is unknown as Skye's roommate in the photos. When he sees that Skye has been able to enter and exit his secure fortress, an inexplicable fear overtakes him. Suspiciously, he asks if she has taken his cell phone. Skye replies that she'll help him find his cell phone if he eats fried chicken with her. To test her innocence, he deliberately tells her that Lisa is dead. To his horror, Skye calmly admits that she killed Lisa because she was so jealous and nosy that she would have ruined her setup. This is also the moment when Skye reveals her true colors. The reason she lived with Lisa was because Lisa's apartment was the perfect place to spy on Chris. After two months of snooping, Skye knew exactly what Chris's routine was and exactly when outsiders came into the house. So from the moment she met Chris, to gaining his trust, to making him fall in love with her, it was all a con job by Skye. Chris angrily chases her away and then tries to escape on his own. She has already taken control of his home security system and quickly locks all the doors. Chris tries to get his cell phone back, but she tasers him until he can't fight back. On the other hand, Ronald cleans up the scene of Lisa's death while rummaging for valuables. He finds the telescope Sky used to spy on Chris in the bedroom. He then peeks through it into the homes of other rich people on the hill. Ronald's attention is quickly drawn to the image of a naked woman doing yoga, unaware of the danger to Chris next door. Chris is strapped to his wheelchair by Sky, and he's desperate. Sky rips the tape off his mouth and says that the only reason she's doing this is to get his money and what she wants. Chris accuses her of being a shameless liar. 